I, I um, was diagnosed with MS in 2000, and um, in 2006 began having really serious, dramatic deterioration in my condition. I wasn't walking well. I began using a cane. Um, and as the year progressed, I was just getting worse and worse to the point where I was in a wheelchair and had ordered an electric wheelchair and had to move downstairs in my house because I couldn't navigate the stairs anymore. And um, a friend sent me an email and it had, it was a, I guess a promo for Master Lynn's book, Born a Healer. And I began thinking, well, I'll order that book from Amazon. And I did, and I read the book and just was, um, very interested, especially the testimonials. The last third of the book were testimonials, and there was um, just amazing healing um, things that happened for people. And I thought that I wanted that too. And so I went on the website. I went in September for a weekend intensive for levels one and two, and um, and then stayed for a couple of weeks and had some healing sessions with Master Lin and. Um, by the time I left, I wasn't using a cane anymore. Um, I had canceled the electric wheelchair order. Um, I moved back upstairs into my bedroom, and I've been very motivated to practice every day the Qigong exercises. And it's been eight months, and I've just gotten better and better. So it feels like I got my life back uh, in a huge way, in a dramatic, impactful way. Yeah. Is there anything else you're doing? Do you credit all of that? Yes. To I, well, I'm, before I was, I've certainly done the traditional um, Western medicine. I continue to, to take the MS medicine, but I was doing that before I got so sick in 2006. Um, so I'm not doing anything different um, and just a very dramatic uh, turnaround. Well, I was walking you, watching you walk. I don't notice anything. Oh, that's, you that's exciting. Or, I mean, well, I I'm used not to, to try and make you think yeah, that you do, but I, no, that's I surprising used to. to have that extraordinary recovery in that short a period of time. Cause, right. Yeah. No, I had a very noticeable, um, well, it, it, it was a limp, but also I was just wobbly and unsteady right. and a very wide gait. And it was. Spatial relationships yeah, were a problem. Yes, exactly. And now? And now it's much, much better. Yeah. So I'm able to walk, you know long distances easily and comfortably and it's been great. My dog especially <laughs> likes it. He, um, he gets the benefit of being able to be walked blocks instead of just, you know, down to the end of the driveway and stuff, so. That's great. Yeah. Well, well actually, well, actually for me, um, a, a week or two after I got back from the September uh, intensive class, I had to have an MRI done, and it had been about six months since I'd had one. And when the results came back, the doctor said, this is amazing. Um, the lesions that you have have shrunk so much that I can't even see them unless they're under some sort of special um, condition. He could see them under some special condition, but they were much smaller and not observable except under this special condition. So that was after really no practicing yet. This was still in the end of September or early October. So if you had to describe Spring Forest Qigong in a sentence or two, what would it be? Well for me it's been just it just gave me my life back. So I would say it's been it's been everything to me. It's been um, you know so impactful and so important and um, it certainly was a huge paradigm shift for me. It's not, I didn't know anything about energy healing at all. And when you're as desperate as I was, you're very, you know, you're, you're desperate and you try things that have worked for other people. And I would certainly say that um, it's, it's worth checking out. Um, so it's, it's been amazing.